Hydroponic plants need nutrients much like soil-based crops need fertilizer. Nutrients provide the necessary minerals the plant needs to grow, specifically nitrogen or N, phosphorus or P, and potassium or K. Denoted by the NPK ratio, which indicates the amount of each major nutrient. The right balance of nutrients to look for will depend on the plant. You'll also discover that different brands use different NPK ratio for the same plant. For example, with hydroponic lettuce, the NPK ratio from three different brands are 8, 15, 36, 7, 9, 5, and 5, 18, 20. Hydroponic nutrients also need additional minerals to offset nutrients that are normally found in soil that are not found in water, such as magnesium sulfate and calcium nitrate. These nutrients are sold either pre-mixed or in a three-part kit. Instructions usually indicate how much of each part is mixed in a volume of water. These nutrients are then dissolved in water where hydroponic plants draw their nutrients from. The amount of nutrients you need to dissolve in water will depend on the plant, and is measured using a digital meter. There are a number of ways to measure the amount of dissolved nutrients, such as total dissolved solids, TDS, parts per million, ppm, or electrical conductivity, EC. Dissolved salts and temperature changes the EC of water. Once nutrients are dissolved in water, its EC changes. For growing hydroponic lettuce at home, a digital meter can be used to measure EC in a nutrient solution. EC unit is expressed in siemens per centimeter. Digital meters display readings in millisiemens per centimeter, or microsiemens per centimeter. For example, hydroponic lettuce EC range can be 800 to 1200 to 2500 microsiemens per centimeter. EC below 800 microsiemens means there's not enough fertilizer supplied to meet plant needs. In which case, you need to add more nutrients. While EC above 2500 microsiemens means there's too much fertilizer, which can cause problems like salt burn and nutrient toxicities. In which case, you need to add water to dilute the solution. There's no standard EC for lettuce, as water properties will vary depending on water source. The idea is to try various EC levels within the range, and stick to the level a particular type of lettuce thrives best. Keep in mind that temperature and plant uptake will affect EC level. Warmer temperature will cause the plant to use more water, bumping up EC level. The ideal water temperature for lettuce is 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. If the plant also draws more nutrients, EC level goes down. Alkalinity and acidity of water is measured in pH using a digital tester. The ideal pH of lettuce is between 5.5 to 6.5 pH. EC affects pH, so it's important to observe plant growth and measure ever so often. And top off the solution and make adjustments. Finally, when preparing lettuce nutrient solution, first dissolve the nutrients in water and adjust the EC level accordingly. Then adjust the pH level of the water so it's within the ideal range.